All right, Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're talking about what happened at the Olympics with the Last Supper. The transgender and gay community has struck again. <laughs> so we be back. All right, man, look, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate, links will be on the screen. If you want us to react to your stuff, that'll also be on the screen, too. So let's get right to the topic. Um, So the Olympics had hosted, I believe it was in Paris, Um, had hosted the Olympics this year. I didn't even know the Olympics was on. I'm going to just tell you right now, the Olympics is such a non-factor now that nobody really cares about it. I was a big Olympics head. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and the crazy thing is, I always rooted for China. I like China. I don't know why. You know what I mean? Now that I root for America, <laughs> of course, but when I was younger, I liked China. Maybe because of Wu Tang Clan. You know what I'm saying? I like I like the Chinese people because they do martial arts. So I used to be like, yeah, China. China. I want to be China. I always wanted to be Chinese when I was younger. I don't know why I wanted to be Chinese so bad. I think every black. Well, person wanted to be Chinese when they was when they was younger. They wanted to know kung fu. You know what I'm saying? Not karate, kung fu. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they hosted the Olympics this year, and they did a parody of the Last Supper, right? So here's my thing, mm-hmm. and this is everybody. Everybody that was on the uh, that was on the Palestine. I want y'all to come and jump in the comments on this one. Because how come y'all not outraged about that? I don't see no, I don't see, and I, I, I need y'all to jump in the comments. I need y'all to jump in the comments. Because to me, y'all have what they call selective outrage, right? These people, and some of y'all, some of y'all that was in there, y'all Christians that was supporting Hamas, y'all not Muslims. Y'all Christians that were supporting Palestine. I ain't going to even say Hamas. I'm going to say y'all that were supporting Palestine. Y'all Christians, right? You have to understand. Y'all were supporting Palestine. Y'all Christians making saying, oh, there's a genocide going on. We understand, right? We get it. But my thing is, when people make a mockery of Christianity, crickets. Nobody says nothing. They would never do that to the Islamic faith. Never. You would never see them do that. Matter of fact, I'll go as far as saying you would never see anybody, even people who are against the Islamic faith, you would never see them mocking Islam, ever. You would never see them do that. i never seen anybody mock Islam. Never. Even people who hate it, i never see them mock it. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a part of any faith. That's another story. But what cracks me up is I can acknowledge and see that people are making a mockery of Christianity. Why do you why do you feel as though you have to make a mockery of Christianity? Why? Is it because Christianity is a religion that's based on love? And taking care of people in good things and whatever. I mean, there's some bad things in Christianity. But for the most part, if you are a Christian, most Christians are nice people. And most Christians that I least know, they're pleasant. And they want to help. They might God you to death. Or they might Jesus Christ you to death. Or come over here, we need to save you to death. But they ain't trying to kill you. But why do you need to feel as though you need to make a mockery of it? Why do you have to uh, uh, go out there and you already know that transgenderism, gay and transgender goes directly against the, li- the religion of Christianity. You know that everybody knows this. But y'all feel like y'all have to mock it for what? To get a to get a thrill? Why can't you just de- uh, develop something on your own? What really cracks me up is, and I know this is going to be way off base, but I have to say this anyway. I hate when they change characters in movies from a man to a woman. 
right? They got to follow me on this. Mm. I hate when they do this. Mm. From, a, from a man mm. to a woman. Or from a woman to a man. Or a gay man. Or whatever, mm. right? Mm. And I know some of y'all are like, well, what does that have to do with what he's talking about? People are trying to change everything to what suits them. Now you're going to probably see it in the future, which happened at the Last Supper of the, the of debacle in Paris, they're going to change Jesus Christ into a woman. They're going to make Jesus Christ a woman or something similar to that. So what pisses me off is everybody's always up in arms about something. But when it comes to things like that, there are people who literally don't play that shit. You do that shit in Christian Islam and in Islamic faith. They will literally decapitate you. They don't play that shit. So what I don't understand is how is it that these people are cool or not even say cool. How is it that these people are allowed? You know what I'm saying? How is it that they're allowed? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying you got to go around hurting somebody. But they don't get no pushback. Nothing. They did get pushback because of people in other countries. Because the people in other countries, they don't play that. You know what I'm saying? But over here, oh, oh, you, you could, you could, you can support uh, Palestine. You could say, oh, death to, death to this, death to Israel, and all this stuff. But you can't acknowledge that people are playing in your face. When you are a Christian, you will go against your religion to, to make sure somebody is okay, their feelings is okay. You will literally go against your religion to make sure people's feelings is okay. <laughs> so I don't know, I got, man. I, I, got, I got an answer for that. I got an answer for that. So you're right. The other countries, okay... The other countries, like you said, they don't play that. You know what I'm saying? They will go down in violence for their religion, their faith, whether it's the Islamic faith or whether it's the Christianity faith. They will go down in violence. Me, I'm a believer of Christianity. I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? I could never take something that is so spiritual as the Bible or, 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 or anything of that nature that is based on faith and go make a mockery out of it like they just did at the Olympics. Because you got to wear that. You got to wear that. And believe you me, you don't have to believe in it, but there are forces that you know what I'm saying? Get the stamp and they mark things down and you're going to have to deal with those later. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be one of those people that have to deal with that. Not to mention, not to mention I'm a firm believer in what I was raised upon. You know what I'm saying? I could never go and do something like that and then think that the rest of my life is going to be fruitful after doing something like that. I don't know where these people get the idea that this was supposed to be funny or whatever like that. I, I don't know, but it isn't. It isn't. And, and, and uh, one reason why people in the United States or just America in general don't really attack things like this is because it's supposed to be the quote unquote freedom of speech place. Say what you want. That's why you see a lot of the other countries, they come, they want to come here, they want to migrate over here so they don't have that ball and chain on them where they were at. They come over here, if they believe in that type of stuff, they can they can mess around with it over here. That's why you see a lot of the foreign foreigners, they want to come to the States. Because then that ball and chain is not on them no more. And I'm not saying all of them. I'm just saying a good portion of them want that ball and chain off of them. 
And a good place to go to get that is the United States. You know? And that's how I look at it. You know? That's how I look at it from my perspective. But like um, I said, I could never, ever do that. No, I get not, and I understand. I understand exactly what you mean by that. I do. I will say this though about what you just said, that I understand what you mean by the ball and chain thing, but I don't think it's more on the lines of uh, they want to free, they want to speak their mind when it comes to their religion, because their their religion is already embedded in them. They already get to speak their mind about their religion. Most people. Most people that go that in these in these other countries, they already indoctrinated, and I hate to use that word, but they already not even indoctrinated. They already uh, what they call it the other word the the good the good word of indoctrination would be uh, I don't know generational. There's already it's already passed down through generations. So let's say you are a Muslim, um, in I don't know in uh you're a Muslim over there in the Middle East, right? You already have it's already embedded in you. There's no questioning Allah. There's no questioning uh, uh, whatever you believe. Your belief system is already embedded in you. See here, if right. they come here, it's not because they're coming. And I'm not saying you saying this. I'm just saying if they come here, it's not because they they the ball and chain is off of them and they can speak freely about their religion. Now they would never speak ill about their religion. It's the same thing about uh, uh, Christians in the Middle East. They don't speak ill about like people, uh, Christians and over in, uh, in, in, in Mecca, or whoever, wherever they at over there. And they won't speak ill about the, the, uh, the, the father, the Christ and Holy spirit. They won't speak ill about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already in them. Mm -hmm. See here it's different because here people are not totally invested in religion. They have other things pulling them in mm -hmm. certain directions. So, they're there is more true. extreme. I when I like mean by that. extreme, that's I don't true. mean that they're going and killing people. Because extreme doesn't mean that all the way. It could, you could just be extremely by the book. And a lot of those Christians are extremely by the book. A lot of those, what's the name, extremely by the book. So it just so happens that sometimes it happens like that. But over here, mm. it's a little more, what they call it, the word nuance. But at the same time, how can you say that you totally believe in something or fully believe in something if you don't go by it strictly. If you always compromising with something. Right. You know, and to me, that's one of the reasons why I can never follow religion. Because it's too many, too many complications of of compromising with stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like the word sin. Me, uh, I'm gonna sin. And I have to beg for forgiveness, but I'm going to sin again. Then I'm going to beg for forgiveness. Then I'm going to sin again. Then I'm going to beg for forgiveness. Then sin again and beg for forgiveness. How can you say that I'm actually learning from this? Is every sin equal? Me stealing a bottle of water, is that equal to me killing somebody? You know what I'm saying? So to me, there's a lot of, and it's not to criticize religions or people who are religious because most people i know that are religious they're nice people you know what i'm saying not to say that it is what it is but i just think that when it comes to christianity they always make a mockery of it and it's not right and i can say that without me being a christian i think it's messed up that every time you turn around when you look at these award shows they're always making a mockery of christianity when you Always. look at these, it's like they have to do it. And to me, that's it's to me. That means there's a greater evil at play. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's exactly through, what I meant. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's through another religion. Or whether it's through the devil himself. But there's a greater evil at play because this evil that I can acknowledge, even though I don't believe. But I can see it. I don't say I, I don't believe. I, I don't follow. You know what I'm saying? So since I don't follow, I can, I can acknowledge that there's evil in the world. And I think that that's very evil for you to do something in front of hundreds of people 
on TV, showing your body off, doing all these disgusting things for people to see, knowing that that goes directly against the religion that you're mocking. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand how it's allowed. And the reason why, because there's a greater evil at play. And that evil is allowing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is it that's that's exactly what I meant. That's exactly what I meant there when I said uh there's there's other uh other powers involved, you know, that's exactly what I meant. You know, we we have to we have to get off the fact that, you know, that there's not other things around the world that that are like pushing forces that are battling with one another. If there's good, there's definitely evil. You know what I mean? So for people that trying to claim that there's not the world is not in spiritual warfare, yes it is. You know what I mean? Good is consistently battling against evil. Evil's consistently battling against good. It's it's always something. We battle we battle with it within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? On a daily basis, we battle with ourselves. That's why it's so easy to do wrong things, but it's very hard to do good things. You know what I mean? Because like it's a cons it's a constant battle between one another. And that's what the world is involved in right now. And and those 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 people that made the mockery, those people are sick. They're sick people. And if they don't think there's a payback, there's no payback from this, there will be, you know? Mm -hmm. Might not happen now. Might not happen 10, 15 years from now, but it will happen. And it might not even happen in our lifetime, but it will happen. And all those people that were involved will have to account for it, you know? And it's going to be judgment. And they're going to have to explain why did they do that, whether they know why or not, you know? So... Yeah, that's that's that's, hey. that's what what I'm saying. Um, yeah. but yeah, so we got, I guess we get into there. Um, yeah, man, but I think that they should. I think they should. I mean, I, I see a lot of people who are really speaking out against it in other countries, but here it's like they it's like they they're trying to start to they, they're trying to glorify it like like these people won something. By getting away with it. Right. And it's only to me, I hate to say this, man, but it's it, they just playing in y'all face. Like they're playing in people's face. You know what I'm saying? And they and they know they're doing it. And then you have people mm -hmm. like I and I, and I, and, I, and I hate I, I just hate to do this, but I have to do it. It's like everybody says Trump is the devil, but he's clearly a Christian clearly a christian he clearly don't agree with this and the people that don't agree with it they will say he's they don't agree with uh uh the the transgender playing in people's face because you could be transgender just don't play in my face with it you know what i'm saying and to me you got people on the left side who condone it and who actually applaud it and who actually want it and you don't, and, and you starting to see like the left side is moving more away from Christianity. They moving more away from all this. And then they tell you to hate conservatives. Conservatives are people who are Christians or religious people who believe in love and values and family. How can you tell somebody to move away from that? Whether you say, whether, the, even if the person is racist, if they believe in family values, love life man woman and child how can you tell them that they're wrong for that and this is the trickery that they have pulled on people yeah they pulled it to where most people think that conservatives are the evil people <laughs> yeah i don't get it you talk to any conservative and you ask them what it is that they want 
it lines up with most people, especially black people, with exactly the same thing they want. Yeah. I don't understand it. So, what do you do? But either way, man, I guess that's the show. So, all right, man. Catch Pad Podcast. I feel so disappointed, man. I, like I said, I'm not a Christian, but I feel disappointed, man. I think this messed up what they doing, man. But either way, see y'all. Peace, bye.